A few weeks ago I decided to start with sorting and digitizing the old pictures from my shoe box. So while going through the box I saw some pictures of our first house and looking at that I decided to put these together in a movie and tell the story behind these pictures to make sure that we keep this for generations to come. It's 40 years ago in 1980 when we bought our first house. It was in February the month that I turned 24. It was in a small village called uh, Westerbroek. There were about 800 inhabitants and it was situated in the middle between Groningen and Hoge Sand along a channel. The population in the village existed of mainly farmers and shipbuilders. In the village there was uh, a church that was there since 1614 but it was rebuilt a few times, it caught fire twice. As I said we bought the house in 1980 and 1981 a full restoration started which took about two years. It was a small farm of 20 meters long and 11 meters wide. It was on uh, about a thousand square meters of land. It was surrounded by farmland and there was a nice pond behind it. A new straw roof was five times as expensive as a roof tile so we decided to put a traditional roof instead of straw. Besides that the garden was totally wild. There was uh, a short ditch in from between the road and the front garden and that was well overgrown so it was all wild. With the help of family and friends we managed to get along. There were days that we worked 12 to 14 hours and that all to make the required progress and make sure we stay ahead of the rain that we also had to deal with. Friends like uh, Hans and Lia Donburg, uh, Peter and Truus van der Ende, they gave a few weekends to help with the roof because uh, 300 uh, square meters was just too much for the two of us. We had to remove the straw and level it with beams, then we had to put the wood, then the isolation and the tiles. You can imagine that uh, we got very dirty uh, of that work, especially the... Uh, it's clear that we also needed uh, some breaks to recover and build up a bit energy. Only 24 years young, strong and full of energy. Often working offshore week on week off, so golden opportunities to, to manage this kind of large projects. We also benefited a lot of friends that gave us tips in case there were very special deals so that all helped a lot and it's clear that bit by bit year after year we continued the hard work and that resulted in the fact that it got better and better. It was such a blessing when we finally finished the roofing and after the roof was ready we could salute the neighbors from the chimney. It was all done and dusted. In the meantime around us uh, farmers kept going, working the land. We enjoyed the smell of the fresh uh, hay. In parallel with the work on the roof we also worked inside the house. We started in the living room to maximize uh, our time. One of the things we had to do was uh, breaking a hole for an entrance from the living room into the new hole that we planned to build in the stable. That hole was 15 meters long and 3 meters wide. In the living room all the walls were isolated and covered with drywall. We put a new wooden floor. We reused the old fireplace mantelpiece to keep some original elements in the house and we prepared the place to uh, install a wood stove. The kitchen was a mess. There was an open space that gave access to area of the living room and the toilet and one bedroom. There was another door that gave access uh, to the stable. I'm very proud that we put a complete new drain system in and outside of the house. In the whole house we put a complete new electrical installation and all the gas pipes were renewed and I did that all with my own hands. In some cases we needed to remove major support beams because of the fact that I had to put walls in place that were quite stressful moments but again with the help of friends we managed to get it all done. I discovered that currently there is a bed and breakfast in our old farm. 
that is called the Wiedeblik, which means the wide view. I would say in case you want to experience the ultimate silence in Mother Nature, go for it. Now last but not least, maybe interesting for some people, we bought this farm for 80,000 guilders. It was in the pre-Euro time. We invested 20,000 guilders and after almost six years we sold the farm for 135,000 guilders. You can see that right now the value of the house is estimated between 411,000 euros and uh, 453,000 euros. But I have to say, when I see the pictures, they have done a fantastic job. Refurbishment, painting, building an additional apartment. Garden looks fantastic. So, I've done my best. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel. Click on the alert so that whenever I put another movie, uh, you get the message. Thank you.